Joe Rogan ends up turning down effing Liver King's podcast appearance request. Come on, this is dumb. <laughs> so, yeah, why would he bring him back? So, first off, you got to remember the story with the Liver King. The Liver King, bro, that boy lied. He's been saying that he has caught the Liver King because he survived on nothing but liver. And he did all nature stuff and did all that stuff. And that's why he looks like a big bulking dude with all natural stuff. And then we find out that it was all capsar. It was all fake. So, if you know the update with the Liver King, he's been going in everybody's podcast. And he's like, yeah. This is, I'm gonna have the exclusive why I lie, why I this. And of course, he's been going in a lot of different podcasts. I seen him in a couple already. After he got caught, it's almost like this is his last uh, sh- uh, fame. And he's like, Joe Rogan's like, bro, I'm not gonna. And him, dude, he lied. He got caught. Hell no, I'm not gonna kiss this man. He, he lied. And then before that, he talked about it like, dude, that guy's obviously on, on like steroids. He's lying. You know, anyone that's into the fitness world and knows what realistic is and what fake is, you'll know. That dude's on some juice. So they ended up finding out that this dude had like over $12,000 worth of like, you know, steroids and supplements for every month to keep his physique. So it's like, bro, that is the complete opposite of natural. So Joe Grogan has no interest in having Liver King in his podcast. Brian Johnson, a.k.a. the Liver King, is a 45-year-old old social media personnel who promotes an ancestral diet. So in other words, I'm going to keep it old school, you know, Rocky Balboa stuff, keep it nature. Even beyond that, I'll survive, you know, killing lions and stuff like that. I don't know. And it ended up being all cap. So Johnson used to claim to be an all-natural before a leaked email exposed the various steroids consumed frequently. Liver King apologized in a YouTube video, which his YouTube video apology was like a one out of five star. I'll go watch it on PewDiePie. Yeah, it, it was like not, bro. You just sad you got caught. That's it, you know. And he's trying to apologize. You can't apologize once you do the crime, you know, and you get caught. You know, you're just a, you're just apologize. You're just apologize that you got caught. So, Liver King apologizes in YouTube video and wanted to appear in the Joe Rogan podcast to discuss his steroid use. Well, <laughs> Joe Rogan doesn't seem interested in Liver King being on his podcast. Of course, bro. He's like, bro, you know, I'll go if, to talk to you one on one to see if your stuff was legit. Now that we know it's fake, it's like, bro, you fake. You got caught. That's it. You done. Remember, the man was selling, you know, liver supplements. To, that's how he, he becomes, you know, the liver king. And it's like, bro, you're taking advantage of people that are actually trying to be in a diet. And, you know, you kind of ruin it for the fitness world. So the UFC commentator had this to say on his podcast, which is 1744. Jesus, man. This man does a podcast every day. Of the Joe Rogan experience with Derek from uh, More Plates, More Dates, who was the one who exposed uh, Johnson, this is what he said. He said, he was front row at one of my shows in Vegas at the MGM. Then I saw him again in the Canelo fight. He was trying real hard to get on the podcast, and he's been trying really hard to get on now. He contacted a few friends of mine, and some of them, like Burt Kreischer, that have had him on their show for what? Say that apology more? Like, come on. This is dumb, man. This is effing dumb. You ran a con game and you got busted. It's unfortunate that you feel terrible. I'm sorry you feel bad because that's just what happened. When you get caught lying, but you don't have to lie. So, yeah. Bro got caught lying. And then he wants to go around for what? Like, what's the point? The whole point is he got caught. What else is there to say? So, the dude was making bank. And, you know, when people get hurt with their money, he's trying to find his little fame. And it's like, bro, you're going to be known as a con artist now. So most people assume the Liver King was on steroids. Yes, including me. It was like really obvious, you know. But, you know, again, when you're starting up and you see this guy, you you know, maybe you're going to believe in it. And you're, you're taking money from innocent people that are trying to lose weight, sir. So but the backlash came from Johnson's promoting himself as a natural, too help grow his brand it would be shocking to see rogan end up having liver king on his podcast after the massive controversy that has spread into the mainstream media so yeah it's like this conversation ended up talking like oh you know dwayne johnson you know like this is this 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 liver king thing can be an opening to be like hey if you were on on, you know drugs enhancing drugs 
be honest now. Right now is the perfect time so we can apologize. We can, like, you can you can get it off softly, and that's why they, Joe Rogan started talking about the Rock because it's like, bro, you you on roids, bro, too. Man, dude's in his 50, and he looks better than most young dudes wish they could. But man, it's crazy. Obviously, I don't feel bad for him. His is a different story, you know. He's he's a movie maker and stuff. He makes movies and stuff, and you know he has to keep his body in a physique, so that's cool. Liver King, another way, another way. He was just making fun. Of, he was just trying to make money, quick buck, and rely on the physique. And it's like, ah, one's lying, one's just doing his job. So let me know what y'all think. Huh? Do y'all think um, Joe Rogan good on him for not getting them? Or you'll still want to see the podcast? Let me know. If you made it this far, bro, give me a like. And if you like the dumbass things I say, bro, subscribe. And that'll be all. Chain Marmon out. <laughs>